Most of you have not realized that because, or you must not realize it because you give a lot of attention to things. You practice the vibration of things. You foster beliefs about things that we know and you know you don't want. But because they are facts or because they are reality, you feel obligated or committed to be objective. It's true. Therefore, I will give my attention to it. I will beat the drum of this truth. And we say, that's really a good idea. If it's a truth that you want law of attraction to flesh out in your experience in more vivid detail. But if it's a truth that you would rather not live, then why not decide for it not to be active in your vibration? So how might you go about deactivating unwanted beliefs? Stop giving them airtime. They'll peter out in time. In other words, nothing will continue to be active in your vibration when you have lack of attention to it. That's what Jesus meant when he said, turn the other cheek, give your attention to wanted, practice the vibration of wanted, law of attraction will respond to that. And that is primarily what you will be living, you see. Now, all of this is familiar to you, isn't it? If you've been listening to us for a while, have you? Do you know that you are the creator of your own reality? Do you know that you are a vibrational being? And that it is through your vibrational beingness that you are the creator, attractor of your own reality? Do you believe that you have control over your vibration? Conceptually. <laughs> you know that it is possible. Do you believe that you are predominantly practicing control of your own vibration? We think you are predominantly. But we know you are here for fine tuning and we are too. So we're continually finding new ways of explaining to you how it is that you could more easily with more flow, more chronically, more steadily, more often, and therefore more joyfully be the creator of your own experience. Since you've been listening to us for a while and we can feel the clarity of who you are. We're going to make this opening short, this short, in fact. We're going to open this conversation to the things that you really want to talk about. We're going to remind you of this one really important thing. And that is everything that you speak about while you are speaking about it is practicing a vibration of it. And sometimes, in the expressing of a problem or a question or an issue. You're actually practicing the vibration of the absence of what you want because the problem is a different vibration than the solution. The question is a different vibration than the answer. So sometimes, in fact, often, in fact, every single time, <laughs> you're going to find us interrupting you, climbing all over your words, trying to distract you from where you think you want to go. Not because we don't want you to go there in posing the question, because there's a lot of bounce that we all get out of that, but because we don't want you to make a career out of the problem vibration. In other words, you can speak it short. You don't have to speak it and justify it. We all get it. In other words, the more you explain how you think you got to this problem place, the harder it is for us to bring you into the solution. And that's true, not just when you're in this forum, it's true all the time. The less airtime you give to the problem, the faster the solution will come to you. Your children have trained you because you ask them to do something and they don't do it. And you ask them again and they don't do it. And so you've developed patterns of believing that you have to stay after it like a dog on a bone. I will continue to wring this problem's neck until Abraham squirts out the answer. And we say, it isn't like that at all. It isn't like that at all because we've been squirting out the answer for quite a long time. The universe is squirting out the answer. You are surrounded by squirted out answers and solutions. They are everywhere around you. But when you beat the drum of the problem, you are vibrationally blind to the solution. It's just the way it is, you see. So. We are eager to visit with you about anything that is important to you. Do not worry about us. We will wedge our message in the crack. 
We have all kinds of new things that we want to talk with you about today. Things that you know that you've forgotten and some things that you have never known that you will now know. This is going to be a day of movement in your vibrational beingness. So we want to call your attention now to this point of attraction because this really is where all of your power is. You have the power right here and right now and nobody else has that power for you and you don't exercise it very well, but you're going to get better and better at it. You have the power right here and now to affect a vibration, to launch a vibration, to offer a vibration, to enact a vibration, to get a vibration going, to offer a vibration, to emit a vibration, to send a vibration, to send out a signal. You have the ability to do it right here, right now. So we're calling this your vibrational grid. It's like, this is your vibration. You know how the frame of a house looks before the walls go up or even the roof goes on. It's a framework that will fill in with all of the textures and fabrics and details of your life. But it's a vibrational grid. That's where you stand right here, right here. You stand here. Now we want to talk to you about what vibration or what emotion you are holding or maintaining or emitting while you're standing here in your powerful now. Are you elated? So the grid spins and we want you to think of the grid as an emotional grid. So pure positive energy, elation, exhilaration, love, appreciation, high flying good feeling ooh, high flying or there is depression not so high flying or there is overwhelmment not so low but not so high flying in other words all of the emotions that you know they equal these sort of spinning grids these points of attraction and you've got different grids on different subjects and you've sort of got a medium grid you've sort of got the grid where you usually hang out so we're going to drive you a little crazy because we're going to call it your grid. We're going to call it your high flying disc. We're going to call it your spinning grid. We're using every word that we can find because we want you to begin to understand your point of attraction and what you're doing with it. And even more important, we want you to understand the vibrational grid that you're choosing and its relationship to this high flying vortex that is you. In other words, you can't set your radio dial on 98. FM and hear what's being broadcast on 93 FM. The frequencies have to match up. So we want you to understand that your vortex, the vibrational version of you, all that you've become, it's that you that was you before you came into this body that's been expanding as a result of everything that you've been living in this body. This high flying vortex that is you has a very high frequency that you got to find if what's in your vortex is going to flow into your reality so that you then can see it, hear it, smell it, taste and touch it. In other words, you've got to get on the wavelength of it or you're not going to realize it. You're not going to have the actualization, the realization, the manifestation, the demonstration, all of those things, all of those words mean the same thing. You're not going to know it in that truest physical visceral. This is the way I'm living. This is who I be sense, unless you are a consistent vibrational match to it. Does that make sense to you? So every subject is two subjects on one end of this stick is what you want and on the other end of it is the absence of the very same thing so every subject is really two subjects wanted and absence of it so when you give your attention to something whether it's something wanted or the absence of something wanted when you give your attention to it and you maintain your attention for as little as 17 seconds another thought like it will join it and that's that thought momentum that we want you to focus upon Hold that thought for another 17 seconds and another thought like it joins it and another 17 seconds, another thought. And by the time you cross the 68 second mark, 17 seconds, you've got 17 seconds to decide the momentum of a thought. And if during that 17 seconds, you stay with it and another thought joins it. Now that thought has more power. And once you cross that 68 second mark, you've got enough momentum going that it will be likely 
that you will follow through with the momentum of that thought into some sort of manifestation so we just want to call your attention to that because when you begin to recognize how powerful your thoughts are it makes you want to flow them with a little bit more precision this is going to be a conversation of true fine-tuning we don't want you to freak out about the thoughts that you're thinking we see you <laughs> cancel cancel <laughs> trying to suck, <laughs> suck them back <laughs> Esther said to someone the other day I have something to tell you and I only have 17 seconds to do it in <laughs> she was very fast in her conversation but we want you to realize that you have the capacity to choose a high flying disc your probability of finding it is first thing in the morning before other things have become active that make it more difficult so now you understand about law of attraction don't you and now you're understanding a bit about your disc choosing your thought your relationship with who you are yes you have a sense of momentum so you're understanding momentum of thought so now you understand all of the elements to become a deliberate creator of your own experience we're eager to talk with you about anything that matters to you don't worry about us we will wedge our message in the crack <laughs> it is our expectation that together we will discover new nuggets of refinement and new methods of application and most of all new heartfelt from your standpoint reason for more deliberate focus we know that you want to be the deliberate creator of your experience we know that for the most part you aren't the deliberate creator of your experience that you are doing more creating by default by habit of thought by old belief by old pipes than you really mean to a belief is just a thought you keep thinking it's a habit of thought it's a thought that has enough momentum that things are actualizing around it and that's why you believe it we just want you to know that you can choose your beliefs and therefore you can choose what actualizes around them you also will discover that you don't need to try to talk anybody else out of their beliefs because in that effort you talk yourself into them because you live in a universe of attraction and there's no exclusion we are certain at this moment that there is nothing important that we know that you don't know we can feel that you have found resonance with some basic things that are important to who you are and most important we can feel that you feel sort of energized maybe inspired is a better word to offer some focus that we know is going to serve you in a really powerful way it is such pleasure for us to interact with those like you who are determined and strong in your desire who are willing and even patient enough to walk with us slowly sometimes to find these nuggets of clarity that you just feel resonance with we have been saying for quite a while that we make too much of all of this in our desire to simplify it for you we go on and on and on <laughs> but it is our knowing that today you have found some simple steps and we know you feel the resonance with who you are our favorite thing about you and our time that we spend with you is that moment when conscious realization occurs to you as you make the correlation between something that you did vibrationally and something that happened in terms of demonstration that's just the best for us not because it's a teaching moment and you've graduated to a new place but in that moment you and we are one 